Okay, so this is my Gmail account that was hacked. So I'm doing the account recovery, enter your password. Next, wrong password, of course. Next, your password was changed 14 days ago. No shit, Sherlock, that's when my account got hacked. Okay, so forgot password. Enter the last password you remember, okay? Next. Do you have your phone? Yes, I have my phone. Yes. Google sent a notification to your phone. Unfortunately, hacker changed recovery phone number. So I'm not receiving any text. So it's probably gonna press no right now. Or does it go automatically? I don't know. So this, yeah, this doesn't work. He changed the recovery email. See, you tap no. I didn't do anything. So we stopped this recovery attempt. If this was a mistake, try again. Okay. Wrong password. Okay, forgot password. Do it again. Okay, do you have your phone? No. He, he Yeah, I have my phone, but he changed the phone number. Get a verification code. Yeah, okay. The only thing, I'm not receiving anything. It's the hacker. Google will send a verification code to the hacker. Okay. So then I have to enter, I don't have my phone. Confirm the phone number. This is not my phone number. Are these the questions that they ask to re recover your account? So a hacker can just change everything and just lock you out of your account and there is no support. Yes, I'm from Belgium, but this is not my number. Try another way. Get a verification code. Oh, but this is not my recovery email. Hacker changed recovery email and recovery phone. So how can you recover your account? And is it normal for a multi-million dollar company like Google and like YouTube to have this as support? So this is the support. This is, this is the only way of recovering your account. Try another way. Enter an email address where we can contact you later. Well, I did it. I did it 20 times, 30 times. You know what they answered me? We have decided that you do have access to your Gmail account. What? What? I'm sending all the proof, the photos, where I changed my, my um, passwords. They... they I mean, the only thing, so to check, so if it's real support, they can check what happened on the 27th of April, 2020. Oh, there was a login from another IP address. Oh, okay. Oh, and they changed uh, the password 20 times. Hmm. Doesn't that sound strange to you? And then I'm explaining everything on video so that they can see it's me. I have more than 650 videos on YouTube with my face. Hello, guys, it's me. I can't recover my account. So the only thing they need to do, they need to do, which is real support, is verify that it's me through video chat. Or I have Google Authenticator. I have Google Authenticator. I can show them. Just ask me the password, I give it to you. Uh, security questions, ask, it's me. I I made the Gmail account, so I know everything about the Gmail account and also about me, so just ask me questions. No, no, they don't do that. Why? Why don't they do that? I've worked for four years on my YouTube channel and just like this, it's gone. But the lo logic tells me 
they can just change. They can verify it's me. Then they can change the login Gmail account of my YouTube channel of the recovery. They can change to the recovery email because I'm sending them messages with the recovery email of the hacked account. But they don't seem to listen. They don't seem to listen. Guys, has this happened to you? Do you think it's normal for all the profits they're making? I mean, it's the creators who made YouTube. So why don't we get any respect? Why, why do we get answers from bots? Why? Try another way. Google needs to confirm that this account <laughs> belongs to you. To recover your account, try again to sign in and answer as many questions as you can. I did. I did. I just showed it to you. What else can I do? Calling, emailing, chat support. I feel like I'm talking to Google bots all the time and I'm like, they're making so much money. At least we deserve we deserve a human interaction. A human that says, okay, I'll I'll connect you to the technical support and blah, blah, blah. Two minutes on the phone and it's fixed. It's fixed. It takes, let's say it all the stuff takes five minutes. I've spent four years, four years of my time into my YouTube channel. And all it takes <laughs> is five minutes to get it back. But there's just a... They just, it's, they're not interested in that. You know why? You know why? Because Gmail is a free service. It's a free service. And when you use Gmail, you agree to their terms. Voila. So you can do, you can do anything. It's insane, right? Insane. I, I think this is insane. I'm not the, I'm not the first one, uh, that this happens to. There are many, many people. I mean, this guy, 100,000 subscribers, 15 million views. You know how much money that brings in? Gone. Where is the support? No support. No. Zero. Zero. Insane, guys. Did you know this? Let me know. In the comment section below, I don't, I don't think this is logical. I don't think this is right. I think this needs to change. So there needs to be a new way of people saying, hey, we don't, we don't accept this. I, I, I mean, how can I accept this? And there are many people who had the same thing. Well, if your Gmail account is hacked, you can't use it anymore. Just make a new account. Yeah, but... If you have important emails, important contacts, a YouTube channel of, of thousands of subscribers, you can you can't just expect to just leave it like that, right? So let me know what you think uh, about this video about Gmail security. Uh, make sure to follow me on my library channel. Luckily, I still have my library channel. Best thing I ever did. Best thing I ever did. Why? Check out my library channel and you will soon find out. So I hope to welcome you all soon on the crypto mining channel and talk to you soon, guys. Bye bye. Press the bell icon to never miss another update. Join the Bitcoin revolution.